learn how to use the templates that are given in Vista Create. There's a couple ways you can get there um, by clicking on this templates from the menu at the top. And then you can type in Instagram post. And now you see some sample Instagram posts that you might want to use. Or I'm going to go back. I might type in YouTube thumbnail. And it gives me samples of YouTube thumbnails that I might want to use. And you can customize them. You can change them a little bit to make them more useful to you, which we'll see in a minute. I went back to my home screen. And there's another way you can do this, too. If you know for sure you're creating an Instagram post, maybe you need a poster. Maybe you need an Instagram story. You can come right down to this and click right on Instagram post. And it sets you up to work on a blank one. But in this lesson, we're working with templates, and I need to create something anyway for an organization that's having a work day coming up. So I went ahead and looked ahead at this one, and I think that that could work for me. So I know I don't need this little girl. This is more of a work day kind of concept. So the little girl isn't working for me, but what I'm telling you is that everything here is customizable and I can rearrange everything too. So the little girl, if I don't need her, I can click on her. I can move her in other places. I can actually hit delete on my keyboard and get rid of her. Um, I can type in anything I need to type. Um, My workday is going to be on October 10th at 9 a.m. And it's really hard to read that, so I can zoom in. There's a magnifying glass down here at the bottom, and I can zoom back out. If I need to see that a little bit better, I might want to identify what this is for. This is an event for a workday, and that needs to stand out. So one of the design principles is to catch people's attention. You want to put into focus what's important and telling people what this day or what this event about is probably pretty important. So I have the font bigger, make it stand out. I can change the font. If I double click on anything, I can highlight all of this. I can change the type of font that it is. I can change the size of it. If I don't like the color, I can work on the color and the color works um, in that I can kind of click on the blues if I want something blue and click on the shade of blue I want or I love down here they give you presets of colors that they think you might like and work well with the template that's been given or the other way around it is if I click on this color picker and there's something in this image and I want it to match I kind of can click on this pink and now my text is the same color pink as this one with text, if I highlight it, I can bold it and underline it. I can change its alignment, all the text properties that you see in any program are up here. I can change the color of my background as well. So I can adjust this and make it a little bit of a different color. Um, even these little designs, if I click on it, there's an area where I can change the color. So if you click on something, you can probably change the color of it. Um, I know that you can change the size of it, make it bigger or smaller. If you move your mouse outside of the little handle that's here, it turns into this like half circle and that allows me to tilt it. And I can do that with anything. If I move my mouse out here, I can move the shape physically. I can rotate it if I want to. And I'd be interested in adding a picture of something like a rake. So I'm going to, I went to objects and I'm searching for a rake. And I'm going to look down in here to see if they have anything that's rake related. And it needed, I needed to hit enter, but now I see a rake that I can use and I can put that in here. I can make that bigger and maybe that's just one tool. I want to start adding some other tools in here as well to show my work day. Maybe we aren't raking. Maybe we're going to be dusting and vacuuming and I want to find those materials as well. So I can come in here and type in vacuum and start adding those tools as well. 
So that's how you use templates. You can change the color of anything in your template. You can replace text with the text that you need. And you can change images to what you need as well. And they would be found under objects.